the kitchen with Patty, <laughs> we are going to make mini popovers. And I'm going to let Patty take over right now because we're going to go in order of this recipe. Okay, hi everyone. So this is a mini popover pan. You can do minis or you can do regular popovers. Regular popovers, you have six. We're doing the mini ones today and you want to put a little bit of uh, butter, bacon grease. Butter will burn. Mm -hmm, but, so, but you can mix the butter and the bacon grease or you, you can mix oil and butter. Mm -hmm. You just want to put a little something down in the bottom of the pan because that's going to help it not stick and actually achieve our popover result, which you're going to see. So right now we're going to start with the batter and the batter is the recipe you find in the little drop down is uh for uh make it for the big ones we're going to double it today because we have a lot of little cups here to fill we had to go put the pan in the oven because you have to have a hot pan you want to warm the pan up first so it's sitting in a 450 degree oven while we make the batter and so for the batter we're going to have six eggs it's double the recipe that you find in the little uh, drop down box so there's six eggs and there's two cups of milk. So we're putting that in here. And now I'm gonna whisk them together. And so it's, you know, it's just like you normally whisk everything together. And Chef, were you working somewhere where they did popovers once? Yes, in California, we had a, there was a restaurant chain that I tried to develop with the Magic Pan, actually. Oh yeah? And it was in Palo Alto, and it was called the Proud Popover. They had two of them. <laughs> One in Faneuil Hall in Boston where I trained. And then I think what, it's Daniel Hall. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely up there. And so, and Great that, seafood in yeah. Boston. And so I went to uh, California, Palo Alto, to open up the second one. I was a training chef for that restaurant. Uh -huh. And the way we did it, we did it like you were talking about with big popovers. Uh -huh. And we would cut them in half, put the bottom on a plate, and set the other one for presentation. Ooh. And we do different oh, yeah, stews in like there. Oh, yeah, like a little angle. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, you can put anything in. So I'm going to add in the flour. And so this is two cups of flour. So remember it was six eggs. We're doing two cups of milk, two cups of flour. Now you need to be careful when you put the flour in, it's going to be lumpy. And don't freak out that it's lumpy because it's supposed to be. So, and you don't want to keep stirring and stirring until it's not lumpy because then you won't have success at your popovers. Exactly, this is an American invention and lumps make the rise. Okay, so yes. you want to keep it lumpy as possible. We're going to add a half a teaspoon uh -huh. of cayenne to the recipe to give it a little pick-me-up, okay? And she's going to finish it. Yep. And like I said, the more the lumps, the better. Yeah, so you just want to really, what you're really doing is just stirring until it's moistened, as they used to say. Exactly. So oh, yes. All right, here we go. All right, so you can so you can pour it out, put it up right here. I'm gonna put this right here. Okay. There you go, chef, and you can pour the batter I'm in. Pour about three quarters of the way. You can shut that oven door so we can keep that temperature. Yeah, we need to keep the temperature up. Three quarters of the way, you can see it sizzling, and that's a good sign because that's going to make sure that the rise is there. Okay. Yep. Three quarters away, that way you don't have any spillage. You don't know who's going to be doing the dishes. <laughs> and speaking of all that, we meant to mention in there as we were getting ready to bring the stuff back here that we forgot to put the salt in. So it really needed a teaspoon of salt for the double recipe, half a teaspoon for the single recipe. So we mixed it in the batter right now before we started pouring. Popping the popovers in the oven. Cute, cute, Patty. And uh, closing it up, just like it is. And we're gonna, we're gonna set the timer for what, 10 or 15 minutes? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. 10 minutes at 450, and then you. the important thing here is drop the temperature and 10 minutes at 350. 10 minutes at 450, it looks like this, we're gonna do another 10 minutes at 350. Beautiful, nice rise on them. I nice love the way rise. those straight sides made it shoot right up. Yeah. Isn't it awesome? Oh, it really is. Okay, and our popovers are done. Look at these babies. Look how big they popped up there. Oh, yes! The more lumps, the higher it rises. Thank you very much, Patty. They're beautiful. 
They are. And the best thing to do is eat them when they're nice and warm like this. Give them a few seconds to yep. cool so you don't burn your mouth. But yeah. They're going to be so scrumptious. Slather them with butter and jelly. Yes.